Those who have an interest in ancient civilizations and lost knowledge will be familiar with the big ancient mysteries. That could be the construction of the pyramids, the Mayan structures or other similar temple constructions found around the globe or maybe more controversial structures like the Bosnian pyramids. There are an endless number of anomalous sites that keep being found and new answers to their construction discovered. Here by subscriber request are a couple of lesser known sites which although thousands of miles apart share some similarities. Let's take a look. Welcome to IF videos on history and mystery. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video again. Our first location is an American secret, an ancient rock wall that presents us with a question in regards to the accepted timeline of American history. This wall located in the great state of Texas was found some 100 years ago and some theorize that it could be a remnant from the time before the biblical great flood. This idea fits with the thinking that the Grand Canyon has links to the antediluvian period, something I looked at in the video linked above. This archaic site has given its name to the nearby town. Despite this, most of the local residents do not know that the ancient site exists. Stories of the wall link it to some of the biggest mysteries in North America. Reports have been detailed that people who had dug a well discovered the wall and even uncovered a giant skull. The wall itself is some 4 miles in width and 7 miles in length. It forms a perfect rectangle. Although much of the structure remains buried, the wall has a height of 550 feet above sea level. The story of the wall begins in 1852 with three pioneers, T. U. Wade, B. F. Boydston and Mr. Stevenson arriving to the place and establishing a farming community. T. U. Wade and his family started to build their house on the east side of the East Fork of the Trinity River Valley on the western edge of what is now the present site of the town of Rockwell. When the man was digging the hole which would become the well, Mr. Wade's spade struck an unknown stone formation. The deeper he dug, the more of the rock wall he found below the surface. This rock meant he had to stop with the planned location of the well and find another area on the property to dig. The wall the man had run into was built of large granite stones. At about 35 feet down, he discovered what would become known as the window, an almost perfect square opening through the wall. The window was a two feet square found in a two foot section of the wall. When the man had finished digging the depth of the finished shaft, it was 42 feet, yet he did not find the bottom of the structure. This is when the nearby town gains its name. The story tells how the two men, Boydston and Wade, had been fighting, each wanting to name the town after themselves. Upon discovering the wall, it struck the two that to stop the arguing, they would use Rockwall as the town's name. Granddaughter Mary Patty Wade Gibson described the additional excavation work that was carried out by her grandfather and other men at the site of the farm. This is where the story becomes interesting with the construction showing some similar characteristics to other ancient structures found around the world. The men discovered rooms or cubicles built in the wall. These were connected by corridors. These corridors ran toward the newly founded town. The granddaughter spoke of an incident that occurred in 1906. Two men who remain unidentified were digging out one of these corridors. This corridor had been filled with dirt most likely because of erosion. These men had a goal in mind. They had heard that there was treasure buried in a room found under the nearby town and they wanted that gold. The men were following a Native American legend and began to dig, uncovering a corridor which had steep slopes. The further they went into this corridor, the steeper the slope of the ceiling became. Fearful of a collapse, the men abandoned their search and no gold was found. The construction of this wall was very strange and was seen to have been engineered by a people with an excellent knowledge of construction. Walls were some 40 feet in places and featured buttresses designed to carry a heavy load. 
Diagonal doorways and other cutouts were also found. The stones used in the construction were massive, the biggest being over two tons in weight. Metal rings were found at the site, which were comprised of tin, titanium and iron embedded in the rock. The use of megalithic stones and metal ties being a commonality across many ancient sites. There were also pictographs engraved into the rock. Sadly, due to safety concerns, much of the structure was filled back in during the 50s. So by who and when was this structure built? Randall Moore, a PhD archaeologist from Dallas, Texas, spoke about the structure saying, it is good when examples like rock wall appear that test our abilities and causes us to question basic Newtonian mechanistic assumptions that have not been modified for over 150 years. Physics had to abandon this approach at the turn of this century, opting instead for relativity and quantum mechanics in order to further their understanding of matter and the universe. These two theories are currently undergoing radical revisions behind the scenes because of new discoveries that do not fit that paradigm. We would do well to embrace the new physics to help us explain things that we have swept beneath the rug for too long before we lose all credibility. I think Dr. Moore is trying to tell us we should remain open-minded to all possibilities when discussing this site. It would seem there are still many answers to be found when talking about rock wall. The second site also remains very mysterious. Named the works of old men, these geoglyphs can be found in much of the Middle East. From Syria to Saudi Arabia, a large number of ancient geoglyphs have been constructed from stone. Some illustrate a kite-like structure, while others are circular in design. These geoglyphs are only visible from the air, much like the world-famous Nazca Lines. The Bedouin people local to that area refer to these stoneworks as the works of old men, but they have been unable to give a name to their creators or a reason for their creation. First noted in Western literature by RAF Flight Lieutenant Percy Maitland in 1927, his journal titled Antiquity reported that he discovered metal rings at the site which were composed of tin, titanium and iron embedded in the rock of the structures he saw at Harat Asham lava field while he was flying an airmail route across Jordan. These metal rings sound very much akin to what was found at Rockwall. Could there be a link? The circular structures are often found in groups but a good number are located in isolation. The circles often contain spokes, making them have the same appearance as a wheel. These spokes align with sunrise and sunset, but they do not seem to have any astrological meaning. It is theorized that the wheels were a more recent construction than the kites. Some believe that the wheels may have an association with some form of ritual or cultural event, or possibly associated with the seasons and the mapping of the sun's movements but this has yet to be confirmed. Other experts think that the structures which are referred to as kites were used as part of a system of markers for hunting. The kite-like structures number in the thousands and are found across the Syrian, Jordanian and southern Israeli deserts. Research has shown that the kites were likely used to hunt migrating Persian gazelle which are now extinct. The stone patterns consist of a long stone wall forming a wide inner open area. This funnels into a smaller enclosed area. It is proposed that they would herd the animals in through the parts of the structure toward the center. Once all the animals were penned, they would then slaughter them. Scientific dating has shown the kites to be between 3,000 and 5,000 years old. There have been claims dating the structures back to 8,000 or 9,000 years but these claims have been widely disputed with scientific evidence concluding that they are likely half that age. If the rock wall of Texas is similar in its construction, could it be of the same age? Like many other ancient geoglyph structures and the rock wall of Texas, the works of old men seem to raise just as many questions as answers. They provide us a great insight into ancient civilizations while pointing out just how little we know about these cultures. As time passes, we may learn more about these structures and what 
they possibly represent about the past, but they are likely to remain a mystery in the short term. The many secrets related to the geoglyphs and the rock wall may have died with those who constructed them. Have you visited any of these sites? What do you think they were used for? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here on the channel, hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find the latest by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.